welcome to the solo adventure that we're on today. My name is Sue Chemnitz and I'm an artist and an encourager and an illustrator and an instructor and all of those things wrapped up into um, someone who likes to make art that inspires you and that perhaps prompts you to do some things on your own too. And I know Robin Marie Smith is a hero of mine and she, um, she is so, so, so good at all of those and just really fun to watch her and watch her take off and, and do what she does so well. Uh, what we're going to do today is I'm going to make a photo collage. And this whole thing was prompted by Robin Marie Smith's recent little paper layer collages for the 100 day project and I thought what fun it would it be to take some of those photos that have been sitting in your iPhoto uh, deal online you know an iCloud um, or wherever you have all your photos and print them out and actually make them into a little collage page because these are from I don't know 2014 this trip we something like that that we took and literally nobody has seen them and they haven't seen the light of day because I haven't done anything with them so we're going to arrange them on some craft paper and this craft paper is actually in a huge huge for me anyway sketchbook by Dina Wakely so in case you're wondering what I'm working in there it has different kinds of papers and then the other things that I'm going to be using are some art pop cards by Robin Marie Smith with her art with her gorgeous um, art on them and some of her stickers both of these I think the name is printmaker pro yep printmaker pro on both of those and then the other oh this is the stickers that that go the round stickers that go in that same um, collection and then I also and this is just a piece of paper that I'm actually going to start with um, and I also want to use some of her stamps because a couple of really cool stamp collections and what I've done is I've cut out her stamps out of the rubber sheets and put them on this sticky, I don't remember what it's called, foam sticky of some sort and just glued them on some pages um, and put them in my binder here and then someday I'll redo this cover that I really want to do that to reflect the stamps that are inside. But that's how I keep my stamps and you can keep them however you want, but just kind of fun, fun way to keep them. And so there's a couple on this page that I just absolutely love and use all the time. And this one, this one, this one, and this one I think I'm gonna take, oops, not this one, this one, take off and use today. And I'll just stamp with those rather quickly and then I'll, we'll pull those in as a collage element later. So what I do is I stick this on to here. See if we can get two on one. Yes, we can. Actually, can I fit both of these on here? That might be a little trickier. Yep, I think we can do it though. Oh, oops, this, I put these the wrong way. So this is just a plastic block that you can get from stamp or stamp I don't know you can get them online so this backing allows it to just stick on there just a little bit and let me grab my, grab my stamp pads all right and I just want to put a few stamps on this to possibly use later on I guess I can't guarantee I'll use them I don't have the whole thing planned out I like a little spontaneity because I don't know um, all right, so uh, the thing that I've decided with stamps is that I just really need to be satisfied. They don't always, I'm a graphic designer by trade, and they're not always as black as what we do in Illustrator. So I just decide that I'm going to stamp and be happy. And I actually use a combination of both purple and black for that, uh, what's this called, royal purple. So there we go for that one. I'll do one more. And I don't know where I got in that habit. I just really don't, I'm not super fond of just black. So I guess I just always makes me feel a little bit better if there's um, a little purple in there too. 
So there are those. I'm going to wipe those off quick. And then next I want to do these. And I'm probably more excited about these because they'll be a little bit easier to cut out. But This is just some paint that I, I wiped off my brayer on and I was probably doing some um, jelly plate printing with that and just wiped off my brayer over there. But I really like how that little bit of yellow shade comes through those, those spots where not all the ink is. That one's pretty yummy too. You know, I think I'm gonna try and get one down by this orange. Just think that would be super fun. All right, oh, we have a little extra one down there. That'll be fun. And could I do them right on the page? I probably could, but since at this point I don't know where I want them, I thought it would be easier to have them on a sheet of paper. And sometimes I even just do them on a sheet of paper and then I have them on hand and they're super handy for later. So those are her, those are Robin's Magnificent Stamps. I can't wait to put that background in there actually. Whew, that's kind of pretty. So the next thing I want to do is plan out where I want my pictures. And I, um, I, what I did was I just printed set all the pictures I wanted fit a, fit on an eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper, knowing that this paper is eleven by fourteen, which is pretty large, but uh, it won't be large when I get it on my wall. And so I just want to kind of play with well, that looks not so interesting sideways, does it? Nope, not quite. Um, just want to see. I picked up my favorite pictures from a trip to. Thailand, which is a spectacular country. And I decided that I wanted two, just a little design tip, I decided I wanted two main photos. So I wanted two photos that were apt that I wanted to leave quite large. And those would be the, the main deal in my, in my photo collage. And then one of my husband and my daughter, um, who are absolute sweeties. So those are my two main photos. And I'm gonna keep them up fairly high too. So I'm just gonna try maybe some different. I was kind of playing with them ahead of time and all of that blue gets to be a little bit too much for me. So I do want that to be broken up a little bit. So um, pull this one over here, maybe. And not room for that one. That kind of leaves this one over here. And this one. Then this one would have to go way down here unless it went sideways, which we already decided we didn't want to do that. So let's pull her over here a little bit. She's kind of looking out of the picture a lot. Um, I'm not sure I really like that. But those three are honestly just way too much the same size to have all together like that. So I think I'll re-pull her down here. And you know what I kind of decided uh, ahead of time was I thought that I would just kind of try and carry lines through. So like there's a little, you can't really see it very well, but there's kind of a dark line. And I, I like how that runs into that piece over there. This doesn't run in at all over there, but we can line this one up with this picture. Let's see if we like that. And then I'm going to match up these two lines too and pull this up. I do this on the front of catalogs all the time. It's a little bit easier when you're working on the comp 
computer in a sense. I don't know. Sometimes it's easier and sometimes it's not. I'll just put it that way. So I like, I like that combination. It gives me a little bit of space um, to do things in between. And not everything has a line that it lines up with, but some of the things do, and I, I, I just kind of like that. So let's glue that on, and I'll speed it up while I'm gluing so that you're not here watching me forever. And, and you know what? What I'm going to do is I'm just going to mark a couple of corners so that I kind of remember where these go. Now I was using that piece of paper on top of the pictures to uh, just to protect the picture a little bit, so that it wouldn't um, so that I wouldn't scratch the picture with my with my card here. My next step is I want to just pick out some items from here. And oh, I had this idea that I thought would be really fun is if I had a couple of these that you could actually lift up and look below. So I am going to do that. Just a little hidden, a little hidden piece. So I'm going to cut off uh, some of the edge of this. Isn't that warm color just wonderful against the against the craft paper I just really love that so I don't know if I should cut it off or not to be honest with you yep I will And I actually even like the fact that a little bit of the picture shows through so that you know that you're supposed to pick it up. And I'm going to, there's a little piece of tape to use here. Is that what I was going to? I could use this to, yeah, I think I'll do that. I think I'll use these. There. Oh, I don't have any small ones like this. I don't think. Let me check. 
Nope, I don't see any. So I will use, I think I'll use this. I think that a little bit lighter color will be good. It's my official. Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. Yes, 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 yes. I'm gonna just cut these off. Cut these out, sorry. Oh my gosh, look at how cute those look. Ta-da! Oh, that's a little surprise. I love it. I absolutely love it. Okay, right. I like that. Now, I think I'll do one more card. I was going to do three, but I think two is... I don't know if two is enough. But as I was thinking about it ahead of time, I was thinking that two was, was plenty. Kind of in that realm of too much of a good thing. So, let's cut this a little bit. If you have not watched Robin's video on doing these prints with the squares, it is, it's really amazing. It's really fun. You should go do that. Not right at the second though. Can't decide which flower I want to keep, that one or this one. But if I put this one up here, this will make more of a statement because it's just a little bit bigger and there's a little bit more variety. So that's my thought process on that. Nice. cut off just the end of this so that you can see the craft paper underneath it but let's see what we can find to stick that on with um, I think I'm gonna use these I think I'm gonna use this other side of that strip I like the I like the round way that goes. And I'm going to cut it up here. It's so fun that she has all these um, just really fun elements to work with Robin. Obviously, I'm talking about Robin. And I'm going to line up these edges here. I need all of that up there. I think I'll trim this a little bit closer. And again, I'm going to line up that over there with this line that comes down. So just kind of a couple little anchor points. And again, see how fun that is to be able to look below and see that picture? Way fun. So I'm going to probably use these three just as repetition throughout, but let's come and see what's available in the stickers first. Ooh, look at this. This is wonderful. So, yeah, let's cut this in half and put this on. going to add um, going to add just a couple of warm just a warm straight line there that 
down a little bit more. I am going to make two different pieces. All right, and then put some glue on there. Oh. Pull it in enough so that it looks like it's purposeful. Let's see if we like it. Yes, we do. And I'm going to put just a tiny little piece over here. That is going to be about half that size. It's just in the details, isn't it, sometimes? And this is the side. Fun. I wonder if I should put this over here. I think I will. Hope that sticks. Do something other than my hand. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I like that. And let's see what else. Take a look at her stickers. I liked I liked that one a lot there, and um, I'm gonna bring this one down. I like that bright again, that bright warm color. I think it's I think I'm liking it because it comes it it's opposite the color wheel of these blues, and just feels good to me. that all the way down because otherwise it gets too close to this. And then we can even take, I think those are too big, so I don't think I will gather those for down there. But I do think I'll get a couple of these little circles and put on there just for fun. that really adds anything. So I might keep that for over there. Now what I did, I went off camera and I cut just a few of these little details out like this, um, this little squiggle that I really kind of like up there. And you could certainly just do it with a stamp too. That'd probably be a lot easier. And then some of these little circles down here. And then um, I think I'm going to take a piece of this. Sorry, thinking while I'm Guess I should have cut these off.
There we are, and then I'm going to find just a bright, I think this piece will do it right here, just a bright, um, just a light, something light. just a little bit. Not that you would have to. Maybe. Alright. I like that. I like that. Alright, so let's get a little glue on that. Probably off camera, but I didn't want to glue it right on my sheet here. Nice. Straighten it out just a little bit. Okay. And then just to repeat that little. See how we have the three up there? I'm going to repeat that right down here too. Not with three, just with. Well, maybe with three. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I think just two there is fine. And we'll glue these on over here. Oops, my usual, getting glue all over the place. I bet in kindergarten I flunked gluing. Alright, I like those. Let's see what else I really want to do. I miss seeing my craft line there, so I think I'm going to just cut a smidgen of this off over here. I really like those rounded corners, but I just needed that back. And you know, I think part of everything is knowing when to stop. So I think, I think I'm going to just put a few more, just some line work in, and then maybe the word Thailand, and I think that might, I think that might just do it. Um, Mr. Fennel the Wonder Dog back there. Oh, I forgot to glue my squiggle on up there, didn't I? So we will do that right now. Let's see if I can do this without ripping the piece apart. We'll be gentle with it. All right. Nice, I like that. I like that a lot up there. Are there any other pieces from all of these? I just I guess I'm just kind of I'm just kind of liking the way it is right now. I like our couple of little stamps. Um, and I like all the stickers. Um, these little guys here. And then just a little more, I think with my pen, I want just a little more line work around there. OK, 
kind of fun. I think it's kind of fun. I think it's just a really fun way to um, do a little photo thing. And I think I'm going to do the word Thailand um, with these little stamps right in here. So let's do L. A N D All right, and I think that's about done. I think that's all I really want to do. Um, again, if you are looking for me online, you can find me at suechemnitz.com or on Instagram at suechemnitzart. And I am so honored to be able to um, be on be on Robin's team this year. I just really appreciate um, all these opportunities to work with her lovely, gorgeous materials. And don't you just love that little, yeah, I just love that. I just love that. Oh, you know what? I thought of one more thing I think I'm gonna do. If I can see where my pen is. Oh, you can't even see those. I thought it was so clever, you can't even see them. Sometimes that happens. But I do like that. So, uh, yeah, toodles. God bless. Mm -hmm.